don't know if uh, we'll get around about talking about the officials if you got seven. Tips in the first half. I know. I appreciate it. you. Must put the word out for me, man. That's more than I had in two weeks. In one half. I appreciate. Were you picking that during? I was. I was like, this is more free throws than I had all week at seven. So, um, I mean, just still trying to be aggressive, man. Don't let it, you know, fluster me or shake me. Um. Once it gets playoff time, they're not going to call much anyway. So, you know, the preparation for that is, you know, don't hunt fouls. Just go out there and try try to score the basket. Um, and that's just what I've been trying to do. Well, that, that's, that's your, what's sticking with you the most about the win tonight? What things or points that you like? You know, that was good for us. Or that was better or improved for us. Uh, I mean, that, that's a really good team over there. Um, and, you know, we play really well. Um, I mean, we we get up for those types of games. You know, I think they're top four, top five seed in the East. Last time we played them, they were they were the one seed. So, you know, we enjoy that matchup. Um, obviously, under man with, with Jay and Chris out, um, but it's trying to play the way we've been playing. You know, everybody share the ball, defend at a high level, get out in transition, and make plays for each other. Or how do you like the game a little bit more? Yeah, I like it a lot. Um, I mean, his touch is there. You know, I think he's been more physical than than he he's ever been as of recent. And, you know, he he's noticing how big he is. And, you know, at any point when he's in that paint or even outside the paint, he can go to that jump hook in, in his cash. You guys, you guys have a, a good problem to have at some points with overpassing. That's my one of the maybe it's just total for low, but you guys still shot it really well. How'd you like the guys? Not looking for passing at times and just sticking to shooting when it was there. I mean, yeah, it's simple as, you know, the ball moves faster than the man. You know, it's like kindergarten basketball tip. And, you know, we just we stick with that. You know, the ball bounces around. And, you know, even if you're not getting a shot on the possession, at least you got to touch it and, and swing it. So, you know, it's not so foreign when you catch it. Um, so just finding that rhythm, everybody involved. And, just equal opportunity offense. Coach was saying how he's learning this way, different ways to coach you because you know, it's been like the roster changed so much when he got there. Mm -hmm. Changed again. And just maybe what are the things that you've seen that he's utilizing you at now that maybe he didn't even last year? Um, what's a good good question? I think we, you know, we we both trust each other to to a high level. Um he sent me a text after one game and was like, I don't say it enough, but I appreciate you letting me coach. I said, I do that because I know how much you care and how much you know more about this game than me. <laughs> if it wasn't that way, it might be a little different. But, you know, he he, he puts the work in. You know, coach is locked in at all times. And, you know, he does just a good, great job of controlling the room, you know, controlling temperaments, egos. And, you know, he makes it look really easy because he has those personal relationships with everybody. You guys are now nine and four without Chris Paul since he went down, and plus that win over Houston uh, after he went down. Have you gotten? Have you personally gotten a little bit more vindication, or do you just feel like everyone else needed to see that you guys could win without Chris Paul to get in the No, we do need that, <laughs> especially when it comes down to the come down. But you know, we we know how talented the, this team is, and you know, we always pride ourselves on that. Um, and I always say nobody can replace what, what what Chris does out there. And we know how much we're going to need him when it comes into this this playoff run. But, you know, in the meantime, we're just out there trying to hold it down. I mean, campaign stepping up big, you know, not only scoring the ball, but making sure everybody's involved and everybody's just attacking, you know, at, at all angles. So that's how it has to be. That's what I'm encouraging. You know, when everybody gets the ball, I told Landry multiple times today, you know, I don't want to see another pass out of you. I just want you to shoot the ball. And, you know, we, we have guys that are understanding that, you know, there's going to be spots for you to score at all times, especially with the attention me and Chris will have on us. Well, schedule-wise, it's a weird end of the year. No more home stands, just a couple of road trips. How do you kind of mentally approach that in terms of is it maximizing the time you've got here at home for the playoffs start? Um, you know, we just have to take what the schedule gives us and, you know, rock out. And you know, I know, you know, we see that 60 number close, um, you know, so that's definitely a motivation for us three games away from that and 
just locking up the number one seed. We know how important home court advantage is. And, you know, even when it comes all the way down to, you know, the, the finals having home court advantage. So, you know, we just want to keep getting better, man. It's almost that time time of the year and, you know, we're ramping up for it. Is that the franchise record? Yeah. Now I am. <laughs> Appreciate that, Kevin. Appreciate y'all.